fear generates the fight or flight mechanism. Fear can either make you a coward or it can make you a warrior. The same fear can either make you a coward or it can make you a warrior. One thing common in all the warriors is that they have a purpose, they have a reason why they fight. If you want to be a warrior, if you want to overcome the fears that's holding you down, you need to find a purpose. You need to find your reason why you should become a warrior. Fear generates the fight or flight mechanism. Flight means run away. So when we have fear, our body prepares us to either fight or run away. Now the problem with all of us in today's world is, first of all, we are afraid of imaginary dangers. There's no real danger. There's no lion attacking you. The dangers that we are afraid of are completely imaginary. We sit and think about if that prospect rejects me and then this happens and then that happens, what will happen to me? We just keep thinking about the worst and the worst case scenario and we just keep getting more and more scared. And the second thing is that when we get scared, the most common response that we have been training ourselves in is running away. See, fear is not only meant to make us run away, it is also meant to make us stand and fight. See, fear is a very transformative thing. It can transform you completely. It can either transform you to something good or it can transform you to something bad. When you use your fear and think of how I can overcome it, eventually you get better and better at it. But if you use your fear and say, oh, nobody likes me, I don't know how to do this business, this business is tough, my upline is not supporting me, now you are on a negative spiral of thoughts. It is like, a car going downhill without a driver. The more it goes down, it picks up speed and it will eventually crash. You cannot let this negative thoughts in your mind repeat and repeat and repeat. You have to change it with positive thoughts.